Marsha Marty here. Welcome to phase one of coding our awesome game. Let's get right into it. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking I did do for a game. Well, actually, my whole team did, but what this do, we make a gopher game. Where you're like a little gopher and he's got like steel grain from a farmer or whatever. So, let's just get right into it. First, start with some imports. You know, you gotta import your tools of what you're gonna use. So, I'll use Pygame. For this little game that I'm making, game, and we'll need time. And I'd say we would also need to. Oh, I can't spell today. Import system. So you go SYS, that's system. And from Pi, Pi game, import. Oh, actually, that's probably all we need for now. Then let's start by defining some variables. So these variables will be pretty simple. When height, height equals, let's just do it 500 by 500 square. So this here is just how tall our window is going to be. You know, stuff like that. 500. Alright, and then we go display, and then we combine the two variables together because, well, it's easier to write display than it is to write win width and win height, so, I spelled that wrong. Equals win underscore width, excuse me, width. And win underscore height. Alright. And then we need an, another variable called depth. Depth equals 32. I just like 32. Flags. What the? Okay, that was weird. Flags. But, carry on. Equals zero. Then we go screen equals pi game dot display dot to set underscore mode. So up there is just basically, basically saying what our screen is going to be. You know, the basics, so it'll be display, that's with capitals, display, flags, and I'm pretty sure depth goes second. Depth. Alright, um, we should probably also have pi game dot init. That is not how you spell in it. <laughs> Alright, that looks pretty good to me. So, let's make a new function called main. Our basic little function that's going to show our window. So, we'll start by... Making a new loop called while one. <laughs> That's not how I spell while either. While while one. That's oh, right. We forgot to find one more variable, which was timer. Timer equals pi game. Pi <sighs> pi. Game, by game, dot timer, dot time, dot clock. Open close parentheses. All right, and then we go timer dot tick, and we want it to tick at 50, 60 frames per second. Next, we'll also do pi game dot display dot Update. I'm close, Francis. 
Alright, so I'm pretty sure this should work. So, oh yeah, let's just make a color called red. A very new variable called, well, it's our color. So you gotta use the RBG coloring system, which is how many drops are red, how many drops are green, and how many drops of blue. So we want 255 drops of red, zero drops of green, and zero drops of blue. And that will give us a pretty basic red. So I'll go while one screen dot fill our new little color called red. Alright, hey. Now you just gotta call the main loop. Main. And that should do it. So let's just save this a second. Save it to the desktop, save it as a little gopher. I can never spell go fur game dot pi. Stop Python. Save that. There we go. Let's give that a run. Alright, so it's working. We've got a little red square. So, I'm a little thirsty, I'm going to go up and get some water. Alright, let's see here. 